All right, doing battery maintenance, I've got three strings of four batteries each. One string here, one string here, and one string here. All pretty good and consistent voltages measured individually on here. This one down here, 4.8 volts. About 6.5, 6.5, 6.5. So these guys are helping the weak one out here. But this one's 4.8 volts. I'm going to have to take this string down. I was hoping, hoping that this thing would last this summer, but it looks like it's going to have to replace that one battery at least. All right, I decided I'd go with plan B and not spend any more money on flooded lead acid batteries. And it's probably best I did it this way. I disconnected everything in this battery bank. And here I'm just showing you what the static voltage is with the meter. It says 4.9, but when I disconnected all these batteries, that battery right there read 4.24 volts. I'll show you here in a second. So what I decided to do, I dis disconnected everything. I cleaned every battery post, every lug end, and took the good batteries in that string 3 and moved them over to string 2 and fired everything back up. Down to a two string battery bank. I took the good ones, put them into that string there, I took some measurements and taped them. So I'm going to have a three L16 backup batteries here. But also what I did is essentially rewired everything, cleaned every terminal, re uh, did one cable end, and I got everything hooked back up and I'm ready to fire it back up and see what happens. First off, I'm very thankful I made that cart, you know, roll around 400 plus pounds of batteries there. So everything right now is fired back up and nothing blew up, nothing arced. Normally I'd get an arc fault on the midnights, but that didn't even happen. So what I'm showing you is the actual battery bank voltage sitting right at about 28 volts right now. Let's move up here to the three Midnight Solar Classics. All pumping energy down into the batteries. Yeah, everything came up nicely. And here's my AC out. Local I have actually energized, but the circuit that goes over to the Reliance Controls Protran transfer panel, I've got all those switches on grid power, so I'm actually buying power right now, but it's the weekend and it doesn't cost that much, so no big deal. And here's a X-Side deep cycle battery I'm helping a buddy out. This is off of his camper trailer, and I'm just kind of resurrecting. It's kind of bulging there on the side, and when I was charging it with a Schumacher battery charger, it got really, really warm. But it's resting right now, and just want to see how it goes. I you know, filled it up with acid or water, distilled water, and got it going. And there's my AGM interstate batteries there. Now, with these spare batteries, I got one I know that's completely freaking shorted out. But the other three I may be able to resurrect. And I've got a Schumacher 6-volt, 12-volt battery charger. I may slap on some of these batteries and keep them topped off and just use them as a backup in case another battery in my solar battery bank goes to hell. There's the Schumacher battery. That's a great little old school battery charger. So, all right guys, fun, fun, fun. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.